games as well too. So we're heading into the Thursday and the Friday night game. I know Melbourne are playing Carlton, and there's a lot to get into that. Unfortunately, Jamie, there's going to be one player who won't be who won't be making the game on Friday night, which is Angus Brayshaw. And this is the big talking point that we will never have a chat about. And we're really keen to hear what people think on the chat. Not just the chat on the uh, the podcast live at the moment, but also on our YouTube and Facebook channels as well. So Angus Brayshaw was concussed after disposing of the ball, running through the middle of the ground by Braden Maynard. Braden, uh, Maynard went up for a spoil, so jumped up, running forward. So it was almost like a forward-type spoil. Um, missed the ball, and Brayshaw coming one way. He was coming down the other, and he has turned to brace slash bump because really I don't know what the difference is these days. Uh, took Brayshaw in the head, concussed him, out for the game. He's gone straight to the tribunal. Um, Michael Christensen was going to apparently put that through as uh, no result, nothing to see here, football act. Uh, but the new head of football has said, nope, we're sending this one to the tribunal. As she should. As she should. All right. So this is now becoming uh, an, an issue because if you ask a lot of people, and I want to hear what, what people have to have, say about this in, in the chats as well too. I'm looking at it from two different perspectives. I'm looking at it from a, a football perspective, but I'm also looking at it from a, a mental health perspective as well too. All right, so, uh, and where this is sort of discussion, I wanted to find out from, from you as well what, what your thoughts were on it too, J-Dog, is because uh, Spotlight on Channel 7 last night had a big thing about concussion. John Platt was a, a big part of that as well too. Uh, and going into that, we've also got what happened to Shane Tuck uh, with CTE. He's taking his own life as well too. There's also been a female footballer who played AFLW for Collingwood, won a flag with them as well too, uh, was in the army and took her own life as well. So it's, it's affected them. They believe it's all come from concussion. Brayshaw may never play again. Now, I'm not overhyping this. We just don't know how bad this is going to be for him. The, the, the naysayers will say he's had a history of it. Well, he's played 86-odd games in a row without a, a concussion. So you can sort of park that one. There hasn't been anything really recent. And they're also saying that he did cop a knock to the head earlier in the game as well, too. Yep, he copped a knock to the head, but he didn't get completely poleaxed like he did earlier in the game as well. So from a health perspective, I look at that and go, you can't just lay somebody out and expect to get off. In the olden days, that would have been fine. We're not in the olden days now. Mm. I've also played a lot of footy. Doesn't have to be at the highest level. It was the highest level that I could get to, which was, you know, uh, Premier Division in Eston District Football League, so the highest level in the high in in, in less Eston um, in league. And, and I've seen teammates cop that side of things as well too. First of all, it's not pleasant to see, um, but you've always got options. And anybody who says you, you you don't have options, you do. And I know there's been times that I've jumped at people, and there's times of put hands out in front. There's times I've braced like this, but there's also, I know where I've, I've got the opportunity to maybe lay someone out. I've turned. I've done that. I'm not going to lie. Or you let them get the ball and you then tackle them. Like let, let them receive the ball and then tackle because you're on the spot anyway. Yeah. yeah. E exactly. So I, I you know, deep down, it's a hard one because I'm a Melbourne supporter. So people go, oh, you only got your Melbourne hat on around this one. Well, I don't really have my Melbourne hat because I've had my fair share of concussions as well too. And um, I just don't want to see anybody. And I think, I think there's consequences to actions. Okay. And that wasn't a football act because I haven't seen many people do that. I haven't seen many people launch from five meters away at full tilt to try and smother a ball and then come down and lay somebody. It's not something that happens day in, day out. That's not a football act. I'm sorry. It's not. And if the AFL are serious about protecting the player, they need to follow through accordingly. Yeah, j Dog. the question I would throw to you, and that's come beautifully from, from Tori as well too on the chat. I'll ask you a question, and this was brought up, I think it was by Jay Clark. He said, look, if it was Braden Maynard doing exactly the same thing with, let's just say, um, uh, Adams, what's his name? Taylor Adams coming straight at him in a practice match, intra-club, would he have done the same thing? Probably no. So what does that yeah. say? 
Yeah. Uh, okay, look, all you have to ask is, would you do that to one of your own players? Yeah, but in a practice match. But you, you, you see, and I'm not, I'm not excusing what Maynard's done in here. But you'd ask that question a million times. Would you, would you spoil like you would an intra match? Would you do something like that? Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't go as hard. But the I've AFL has set such intra clubs. Intra clubs can get pretty spiteful. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you can because you know. It it does um it does. Uh, football teams uh we play with each other, but we don't always like each other, and sometimes that can boil over. At times, we didn't have to talk about. Yeah, Cameron. but I'm, I'm but, but we know generally a game is a game's the real stuff. Yeah. Um. The AFL has set this precedent now for two years. If if they don't, if they don't apply a penalty to Maynard, it undoes. Everything that they've been doing for the last two years around protecting players' heads, um, we're coming down hard on this rule, jumping off the ground, like everything. It it, it undermines everything that they've done. Yep. We know that. Players know that. If the general consensus from people watching the game said it feels like two weeks, I, I kind of feel like that's probably where it's at. Two to three weeks. If we're all sort of saying it, no one sat there and thought that's a fair bump. No, I no didn't think that. I, I didn't, didn't think that. Oh, I don't think that's a fair bump. The- Players concussed, high impact, whatever, whatever the whatever the, the three columns are, they got to check. Yep, it equals two weeks. The other thing I'd say, Jamie, if this was let's just say Oleg Markov, would they say the same thing? Would, they, would there be as much of a blow up about this? I don't know. It, it's a, it, it, are we coming into the, the good guy factor because it's Bruz? You know, Brown thing. I know Brown's playing because he's so tough for us as well too. I, I don't know, and this is why I don't, I don't lean either way. But I'm leaning on the, the side of, of the player because we're suspending people for a tackle, which is part of the game, and the head is just touching the ground, and we're suspending mm. them for a week. Sicily got three weeks for something. Uh, which was a, a weak tackle. I, I remember even Paddy Ryder standing in the one spot and a bloke ran into him and he got a week for that. Yeah. Now, this it's, it's all about the sniff test. You, you, Cozzy Pickett, remember the first game of the year, nailed Bailey Smith with a cannonball manoeuvre straight in the side of the chest, if you remember that. Yeah. Right. There was nothing wrong with it, but because of the look of it, he got three weeks for that. Yeah. Or was it two? Two or three, regardless. So you've got all these issues, and then this comes into it, and you see something like this. Is it yes or not? Sorry, it was two weeks. I apologize, Buzz. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. Um, and if I was a Hollywood player, let's just say this was round round six, and it wasn't finals time, would this would the would the the furor be the same as well too? Is the situation overcasting the seriousness around this? Oh, look! I always think, I always think that there are those factors that brought into it as well. Like whenever, a, a, if it was a back in the old days, if it was a Joel Sowood who did this, or or a, or a major player had done this, then yeah, I think I think that's that's only natural that 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 comes into some sort of factor. We go, oh, that's Brayshaw, one of your one of, one of your A graders in the team. And Maynard's probably one of well, definitely Collingwood's A grader in mm-hmm. on the halfback line. There. He's their, I reckon he's their barometer. Correct. I think I said that last week, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Something to that effect. Oh. Um, so yeah, I think that's I think that's always a factor to it. We always spoke about Teflon Trent got yeah. off things yep. that other players wouldn't get off. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's it just. It has to go through the AFL tribunal. I think it's good to put this t- this case in there for it to, to run it through the system. But I'd be bitterly disappointed in the AFL if it wasn't given two weeks at least. Well, it can't be. It's either zero or three. Well, that's okay then, three. It can't be zero. I, I, w- think- I wouldn't be happy with zero. I don't think anyone would be happy with zero. Yeah, and especially I don't know what Victor Cripps when he got off because of a technicality. Do you know what I mean? Like they're trying to compare that. Yeah, it's just 
It, 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 this is not an easy one, and I would hate to be in the tribunal 